Dude, what's good, huh? Uh, no, it's been a while, been a minute. Um, I had to get my license, of course, you know, in the last video, I apologize. But I finally got my, uh, finally got my license. Uh, shout out to the person that gave me that $100. I got you in the future. Salute. So I finally decided on a company I'm going to go to and all that. Um, I'm not going to tell you the company right now. I'm going to make you wait. I'm make you wait. I'm make you wait on it. Uh, but uh, it's, give you a hint. It's not Warner. I'm sorry to all the people that wanted me to go to Warner or want to go to Warner and all that. I ain't going to be able to tell you about Warner. I ain't going to Warner. Um, I feel like the company I'm going to probably be a little better, but, you know, well, um, you know what I mean, uh, I'm supposed to be leaving, oh, and, and to people that get on the bus, I'm about to get on the bus, just in case you ever go through this like I'm about to go through, I'm about to leave at 7.55 today, all right, today is Tuesday, no, today is Monday, my bad, man, um, I just ate some popcorn too. Shit was ridiculously good. Um, leaving at seven fifty-five. My arrival time for tomorrow is eight something tomorrow night. That is crazy. I'm about to be on this bus for twenty-four hours plus. I mean, so if you ever go through that, and man, you, uh, and believe me, I didn't try to talk to everybody <laughs> and getting up out of this, but uh. But the only bus is coming from my way. I'm in a small town, you know, uh, so, uh, and I'm going, let me tell you that where I'm going, and y'all see when I get on that bus. But, uh, but it's gonna be, and this gonna be in the same video. I'm gonna make this all in the same video, so don't worry. You ain't gotta wait. But, um, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting there in 24 hours. And also, if you ever get in this position, it happens, you know what I mean? So, I'm just hoping that this leads to a great future. You know I mean, I'm gonna look back on this a year or two from now and be like, man, I was on that bus for a whole day just to get to this money, all these monies, all these riches that I'm trying to go into. Anyway, I got my camera. I got my charger for those who watched the last video. Make sure I got my charger. Uh, so it's gonna be all good, bro. Um, I'm gonna hit y'all up when I get to the, uh, to the bus station. And... Show y'all how that be. Made it on the bus finally. Leaving Elizabeth City. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep y'all posted. So I am not bullshitting with y'all at all. I'm in Richmond, Virginia. This is my second stop. And I was supposed to leave here at 5.30 in the morning. Then they changed it. It got pushed back to 8 in the morning. Uh, I don't get no money. Now it's 12 o'clock. So I'm going to be here till 12 o'clock. Still in Richmond. And I got five more stops. I, I don't even want y'all to see my face right now. It's that bad. Like. <laughs> yeah. Greyhound services. Real shit. I don't I don't advise anybody to ever get on Greyhound ever in life. Ever. I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee right now. I don't know nobody. My bus is laid over again till six o'clock. My orientation is tomorrow morning at six o'clock in the morning. The bus ain't leaving till six o'clock in the morning. I called my recruiter. She said that, okay, she gonna try to get a bus. She gonna try to get me in a hotel until next Monday. Next orientation Monday. So I'm gonna be here till Wednesday. 
I don't know nobody in this town. I ain't got no money. I'm gonna be here for a whole week with no money. No napping. So right now I'm walking. In a town that I have no idea. Scary as fuck. Look at this shit, man. Trying to find some fuckers. Hey, excuse me. Do you know any place where they sell cigarettes here? Um, Somebody told me. I'm from the bus station. Urban bar. They have a cigarette dispenser inside. This bar is right here on the corner. Right here? Yeah. All right, thank you. I'll get back with y'all. So, yeah, my dog. Oh. Um, had to get back on, I had to cut off for a while. I was trying to figure out where to find some fucking cigarettes. <laughs> no, no, yo, no disrespect to uh, Knoxville. Uh, Knoxville, um, Tennessee. But, dog, this shit is weird, man. <laughs> this shit is weird, dog. Like, it's, it's like a, I don't know how it be in the daytime, it might be where I'm at, you know what I mean? Like a fucking, like a, like a motherfucking Count Dracula movie out here, for real, dog. <laughs> Like everything is it, weird, though. I, I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. This shit is it's funny out here, man, for some reason. No, like, no disrespect to the people that might watch me later or watch me now. That's from um, Knoxville, Tennessee, but shit, shit weird. But but back to um, yo, uh, it's a fucking lady walking in the raincoat, though. <laughs> I lie to you now, dog. It's not raining. See, that's what I'm not doing. Dog, I lie to you now, dog. It was just a fucking lady walking in a raincoat, dog. I wish I. Nah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to fuck with us. I ain't gonna show it to y'all, but just believe me when I tell you it's a bright yellow fucking <laughs> raincoat, dog. It is nowhere near rain. The sky is clear. My nigga. But yeah, shit getting pissed. Yo, Greyhound, fuck Greyhound. Fuck Greyhound to the max of life, though. I hope Greyhound see this shit, though. Fuck y'all to the max, though. This shit crazy. Nigga. <laughs> nigga. No, I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> My nigga, this, this shit is crazy, boy. Like, I ain't... <laughs> I'm so hot, I can't even look mad right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm that mad. You know what I mean? I'm out here in this weird ass. I ain't gonna say it's weird, but it's weird to me because I ain't, I ain't from it. So, when I'm out here, this place I don't know nothing about. They had me laid over. Man, I left here. I left and got on. I got. A, I became a part of Greyhound since yesterday at seven fifty-five. Seven fifty fucking five, dog. I'm still a part of this mother. I was supposed to get there today. My destination, I'm supposed to be at my destination right now. Probably just getting there. Now I gotta wait till six in the morning. That's orientation day. Like I said, uh, now she's saying that I can't do it tomorrow because my blood pressure is gonna be sky high. Dog, I ain't went to sleep. I went to sleep for about 30 minutes on the bus. You know how bus, anybody that rode a bus, you know how bus sleeps off. Shit, <laughs> shit's crazy. But, so she's saying my blood pressure might be high for all that. So I gotta wait till Monday. I gotta stay here. They're gonna get me, at least they can give me a hotel till Monday. I mean, well, at least, well, it's gonna be till Wednesday, but you know what I'm saying? I just thought orientation Monday. But like I said, that ain't cool. Cause like, I don't know nobody here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Had barely enough to get these cigarettes. Of course, I might have some people to look out, but that ain't the case. That, that ain't the, that ain't the point, though. Like, 
and I can't say it's my company fault, because, you know, it ain't their fault. It's the bus fault. Like I said, fuck Greyhound. Fuck Greyhound to the max, though. Like, no fucks given, though. Like, yo, <laughs> I ain't holding back. I ain't, ain't no holding that. Don't nobody hold that. What's going on? Don't nobody hold that. Like, it's just crazy. Fuck Greyhound to the max. Shit crazy. I'm about to get up off this, though. Guess I'll holler at y'all tomorrow or in the morning when I get to the room and shit. Look at this weird shit, man. It's weird fucking shit out here, man. I'm out. Actually, my second day um, here. It's Thursday, actually, when I'm doing this video and all that. Um, I know y'all seen the videos from the other night and all that. Uh, I put them all together and shit. Um, yo, when I tell you that bus shit was something crazy, <laughs> my nigga, man. But what happened was we finally got we got here like one o'clock in the morning. Um, you know what I mean, uh, the bus did come because. I think I told you in my last little video that uh, it was supposed to come at 6 in the morning. The orientation was 6. I called the lady and all that. She was like, well, if that would have happened, then I would have had to wait. They would have got me a hotel till uh, till next Wednesday, which my orientation would have started Monday. But that ain't how it happened and all that. So, um, so yeah, they uh, so I got here like 1 in the morning. I mean, so I still went to orientation. I didn't even go to sleep. I didn't, I didn't even go to sleep. So when I got an orientation yesterday... I was dead tired. I'm talking about like, I fell asleep, right? <laughs> I fell asleep. I don't know what time it was, but I, fell, I dozed off a lot of times. But I fell asleep, and um, this morning, a dude on the bus told me, he was like, man, the teacher tried to wake you up. Nigga from across, nigga was sad to try to, try to nudge you, nigga, you were out. Ain't nobody tell me this yesterday, right? So I guess it won't all that. Like, even to the teacher, it won't all that. Because I ain't even know. <laughs> I know I kept dozing off, but you know how you know how you doze off and shit. You wake up and you, and you look, and everybody else ain't looking, so you like, oh shit. I hope ain't nobody see that. In my case, everybody saw it, <laughs> but ain't nobody say nothing, right? But um, but orientation was dope. If well, in the more um, orientation was your regular orientation. I ain't gonna say it was dope or not. It was just you know they were um, they were just uh, you know saying what they had a company going all that. And I ain't told y'all the company yet. Uh, I'm gonna hold, I'll make y'all wait still. Still make y'all wait, right? But, uh, but orientation was cool. I'm gonna tell y'all at the end though, what it is. But um, orientation was cool. Uh, yeah, orientation cool. Um, you know, I'm about the people. The people is cool. It's not like Roadmaster though, of course. Cause I guess Roadmaster, we know we was gonna be together for a whole month. These people, we know we only be around each other for three days. Tops, you know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody getting cool and all that shit like that. Um, real cool like that. The good thing, though, I got my own room, yes, and I'm sitting in what would have been my room, my uh, my Padre. Yeah, this would have been my Padre bed, but I ain't got one. Huh. So that's my bed over there and room service. This is for all the people that went with me to Roadmaster and watch my shit. Shane in particular, and everybody else that was at Roadmaster stayed at the hotel. These niggas clean the room every day. They clean it every day. This morning I came, or well, today I came back and was clean. Yesterday I got off of orientation. It was clean. These niggas clean every day from what I've seen. And they do a great job. Right? So long. And they got wood floors. My nigga, hold on. And they got wood floors. My God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. They got wood floors. Oh, that's, that's excitement. For everybody else watching this, y'all won't catch all that. Y'all, y'all won't get all that. But to the people that went to road maps with me, dog, y'all won't catch all that. Um, but uh, it's it's cool here. Like I said, it's cool here. Um, I only ran into one. I didn't even run into an issue, but I, I ran into the issue that everybody here is gonna go through. Um, that trainers. 
I done heard, I heard they notorious for their trainers being like dumb late. And when I went there, like, it's a ass load of people in the um, terminal. Um, and they used to be sitting there all day. And the day I finally asked, I was like, why all these people be sitting here lounging? Like, they be watching TV and all that shit. Like, lounging, sleep and all that shit. I'm like, why they do this? They waiting for trainers. It's an ass load of people waiting for trainers. So, you know, I guess that's the one bad thing about it. Um, tell you all my company. I'm trying to get everything out before I tell you all my company. Uh, uh, I think that's, that's about all the bad things I'm trying to talk about. What, what can I say in two days? Um, they give you, you know, I, I get paid for orientation. I'm getting paid tomorrow. Fifty dollars. Fifty some dollars. Um, yeah. At this company, they got a lease to purchase. I talked to this lady today, right? Because they got uh, in the classroom, they they split it up. So it's people that's coming back for a lease. They want a lease, and it's got it's people that's just coming back and students on one side of the classroom, right? Um, the side of the classroom where the lease was full, and well, from what I understand about lease leasing from a company, it's not good, right? Um, it's stupid. Like, I even thought about it myself, like, and I hear other people talk about it and all that shit. People I know that actually drive told me it was stupid. And from what I gather, it's stupid to lease from my own company. But this company, they got leased to purchase. So you leasing it, but you will be able to purchase it after three years or two and a half years. And I told her this lady, right? And um, it'll be yours after two, uh, two and a half, three years. Um, I told this lady, because I thought it was, I, I was looking over there, I'm like, man, you know, all these people, what are they thinking? Like, they ain't never gonna own the truck. But I found out it's Lisa own and I told this lady, and she was like, she got four trucks from his. Um, she said her first year, she, uh, she had got, uh, it took her two and a half years the first time, of course. Um, and, but after that, she let that first truck pay for the next truck. And so on and so on. She was like, this truck right here she getting, man, it ain't going to be no time. You know what I'm saying? She already got three trucks out there running right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I, I think this is a cool company to do the lease. I'm going to do that. Um, as soon as they allow me, I'm going to do a lease, lease purchase, lease purchase um, from this company. Because uh, the way old lady was talking about it, she, she, she said she's been driving for 15 years. She said when she found she came here, she um I think fifteen years, I might be mistaken, but she said she when she got on this lease purchase, it was the best thing she ever did. Now she got her own little mini fleet. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So um I mean I ain't get a contact on that like that, so I can't I can't refer her to or whatever, but let me see what else is there so I can go ahead and reveal who these people are. Um let me see, that's about it. Um that's about all I can talk about now. Uh, I'm on a dedicated account, dedicated Walmart account. Um, I got a dedicated Walmart account. Alright, there ain't nothing else I can say about it. Um, without further ado, my new company. I am... I am a new driver for drum roll. Uh, 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 US Express, my nigga. US Express, yes sir. Anybody out there that might think US Express is bad, I'm sorry, but right now I think they're great. I wanted Walmart. I wanted to do drop the hook. I did not want Dollar General. That's why I did not go to Warner. No. No biggie to want them. I mean, you know, whatever. If you're going to want to go to one, I feel you. But I did not want to do Dollar General. The first thing they told me when I called was, yeah, we got a Dollar General account. I'm like, oh, man, I got anything else? Nah, not right now. All right, fuck it. But um, that's why I ain't go to want them. So uh, I met U.S. Express, and they, they got a Dollar General account. Matter of fact, I was talking to a dude since I've been here, and he loved Dollar General accounts, but that's, that's him. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's him. And of course, with a Dollar General account, you would make more money. So, uh, of course, because you got to get out and they pay you for doing that. So, I think he said we, I, he probably, he, he, and he a trainer though, so take his shit with a grain of salt. But um, he told me he, as a Dollar General person, he probably made like 200 to $400 more than I would at Walmart. 
and all that. But he a traitor. I don't know if he's referring to his training time or as him being a regular person. So fuck him. But anyway, I got Walmart. That's what I wanted. I actually wanted Walmart. Um, I see benefits in Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Work for. I used to work for Walmart as a general. <laughs> so I used to unload that truck sometimes and all that shit. But now I'm actually driving for the fucker. I can't escape Walmart. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm at U.S. Express, Team U.S. Express, all that shit. Uh, they give you little cards and shit. You know what I mean? Um, I guess when I get that card tomorrow, I can refer y'all when I do further videos. If y'all go in and y'all call and use my referral number, you know, well, I get a, I, I forget how much I get. I get something. I get some money. You know, so uh, next time I, as I continue with these, these videos, U.S. Express, I have it in the description. So if you want to go there, I make sure to remind you too. If you want, if you want to go there, then use my referral code. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you'll give me, you'll help me out. You know. For what it's worth, that's what it's worth, you know. Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna keep y'all posted with all that. I like it so far. I like that facility. I just don't like the fact that I might not get a trailer. I can't talk too much on that right now because I ain't went through it yet. Tomorrow we'll tell them. Never get on Greyhound. Fuck Greyhound. Always remember. Never forget. Keep this in your head if you don't remember nothing else at all. D-Day. <laughs>